Okay, this is like the third time I've started this recording. I am suffering. Cause, uh, yeah. First OBS had to update, then Reshade had to update, and then the previous recording did not record my talking audio. So it was just a bunch of going around the farm with no talking. And that's not interesting at all. So <laughs> this is my ranch. Uh, I, I am, it's not my finest work, but it's my first ranch. So I'm showing it to you. Uh, I used to have over here is just like, uh, oh, come on. Don't bug out now. It's just like a little pen for all of the non-ranch animals, I guess, like the cottage living animals. I used to have a llama, a cow, and a full chicken coop. Um, unfortunately, I uh, it was very overwhelming to play with, and the ranch hand service is very buggy. Because like it kept canceling itself, so I had to rehire him constantly in order to have a ranch hand. And that was very annoying, so I decided to just let them live their full lives and then when they all died of old age, I didn't get new ones. Uh, so, oh yeah, and speaking of ranch hand, there's a button here, I put the sign here because I didn't want to have to like go elsewhere to look for one, but this button here that says hire ranch hand doesn't let you just hire it from the sign. No, 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 it takes you Wait, let me actually see if I can demonstrate it. She's gonna go over here and hire a ranch hand. Call to hire a ranch hand. And then it just takes you over to the hire a service button on your phone. Instead of just letting you hire it directly from the sign, which is stupid. Anyway, I've got uh, a bunch of different plants. Um... Mostly for nectar making and that type of stuff. I decided not to have too many or to like fill up the entire crops because this is already a lot to deal with. Like I'm thinking of getting rid of some of these. This thing's gonna need some mite treatment. Uh, I have a little fire pit with a bunch of different chairs like the frog chairs. I thought that would be cozy. I've got a little uh, like horseshoe throwing game from uh, Outdoor Retreat because I felt like it would be fitting. I've got a little tree house, cause uh, I mean you can't have a, a ranch without a tree house. That would that would be wrong. Uh, but yeah, this is the sixty-four by sixty-four lot. Uh, that it's mostly the same as it was when I started building here. Like a lot of the terrain paint is the same. The fences here are the same. I changed out the arch here and I added this little gnome dude, who by the way. He will move around on um on Harvest Fest, but you can't like you can sing with him, but you can't like offer things to him. So he's like a real gnome, but not a real gnome. You know what I mean? Oh, stop looking at the bees. Uh and here is a like horse trailer for horse transport. It's obviously not functional, but you know, it's it's there for aesthetic purposes. I've got a little horse pen over here. This is where Clover sleeps. He is uh, one of my horses. There is nothing special about him. He is just a horse that I had because I wanted to breed Arabian horses. So I got him. And then I have Daisy over here, uh, who is my actual champion horse. Uh, and she has won the... Master Championship? Is that, what, is that what it's called? Master Horse Competition, yeah. She has won one of those and gotten a gold trophy for a show jumping competition. So she's, she's, she's pretty nice. And then over here, I have Little Ranger. And yes, that is a, a randomly generated name. And I adore her. Um, I figured since I already had... Uh, a dog previously that was named Nova, I I legally had to keep the name Ranger. So, yeah, she's very cute. I think she's about to age up to a proper horse very soon, and she will have a couple of, uh, like, extra traits for it. She will get some skill boost for having uh, temperance level at least six when uh, she ages up. 
and she also has the champion genes because her mom has won a master championship. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty nice. She is very sweet uh, and very cute. And I love her so much. And uh, yeah, here's uh, here's Macy. She's in her party outfit right now. She's very cute. And then let us maybe go inside the barn first, actually. I'm gonna turn on the lights here. Turn on this room. Actually, why don't I just turn on all of the lights? All lights. Uh, so this is Ranger's stall and this is Daisy's stall. Uh, I've got some like equipment and shelves and boxes. I've got a tack room over here. Some cleaning supplies. This is where I keep the, the decoration box because I was like, eh, it kind of fits there, so why not? Uh, all stables have like a little like wash stall where, where you like clean the horses with a hose and, and wash them, etc. Uh, I would have, etc. Not etc. I would have put this ladder here over here instead, but the game doesn't let you stack ladders, which is stupid. So that's why this is here instead. And this goes right down into my wine cellar. I don't have any wines in here right now. Because uh, I have already made a fucking lot of money. That is uh, my girl Marion's uh, doing. She has been selling them here at this uh, thingy, the, the, the garden sa yard sale table from, uh, outdoor retreat. And she's got some that she's gonna sell here as well. You need to go to sleep, bestie. It's 4 a.m. Christ. Anyway, yeah, I know you're tired. Stop moping about it. Go to sleep. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that is, uh, the wine cellar down there and then up here we've got uh, a feed storage area which stables have an extra ball you know kind of like picturing in case what the other ball out there breaks they can use this one instead got some decorations oh and most stables have like a, a break room of sorts kind of just a, a a place where you can sit down with some old rundown furniture oh there we go yeah see Ranger got a good head start on temper temperament skills as a foal. She is primed to learn more skills. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, most stables have like a room like this where there's a heater and there's a mini fridge, etc. cetera. Uh, I kind of locked the door to here because I found it really annoying to, uh, that they kept trying to use the mini fridge up here. Uh, and I could remove the mini fridge, but I don't want to because this room is mostly for aesthetics anyway, so screw it. I locked the door. Um, so yeah, that is the barn. Oh, hi, Marbo. Yeah, hi. Oh, it's such a good baby. I don't know if you can hear her murping, but uh, yeah, she's been so freaking cute the, la the past couple of days. She's been super cuddly with me. I love her. But yeah, let's let's explore the house. This is a very normal entryway. I've got some stuff for a cat in this house. Like I've got a litter box area over here. Uh my my dog Myrtle died a little while back. Uh so I haven't gotten another pet since then. I think for rather obvious reasons. I have a pretty full household as it is. Um here is the living room. We've got a fireplace and a TV, and here are the trophies that um Daisy has one. There's some instruments and some cross stitching and knitting stuff. Uh, I haven't put a lot of clutter in the kitchen even though I was planning to because uh, I got lazy and I couldn't be fucking bothered. So this is the kitchen. Um, this used to be Myrtle's food. Here is, uh, this is a radio actually. I really like this radio. It's kind of fancy. This is uh, Micah's. What are Go piss, girl! Christ, go piss! Oh my god. Anyway, yeah, this is Micah's violin. She has uh, completed the artistic uh, prodigy aspirate. I'm telling you to go piss! Is the toilet Fuck it. It's broken. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fair, actually. Sorry for yelling at you. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, 
did not keep any children in mind when I was building this room. I just wanted a unicorn themed room. I do not give a fuck what either of these kids are like personality wise or what kind of room they would like. I just wanted a unicorn themed room and I made one. Uh, <laughs> and then here's the bathroom. It is... I discovered today that this piece of wall right here had not been painted. It, it was just, it had the wrong, it had one of these pieces of paint right here. And it pissed me off because I didn't notice it until I started doing the other recording. <laughs> Maybe you can mop the floor, I don't know. Um, and then here's the parents' bedroom. Uh, got a little horsey painting right here. I really like the bed sheets on this bed, it's really cute. There's a marriage certificate. This is the 15,000 Somalian violin because it's not like we're hurting for money. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else to talk about. I think I've pretty much mentioned it. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a little play area over here with, uh, excuse me, a swing set and, uh, a monkey bars thingy. I believe that is it. So, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for, for, for watching.